Hey, welcome back to a Mr. B's Thursday here at CycloneFanatic.com. I'm Chris Williams. He is Tim Sitzman. Good morning. Hey, Tim, what do you want to talk about today? Well, there's gosh, there's only... pretty dead topics. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> What a what a what a get day again to be excited about being a cyclone. We've had ups and downs over the last year, and what a what an up day that we can talk about some great things up at Iowa State. And uh, I, I'm excited. I know you are. You're wearing your well, gear. You look great. Yeah, normally I try and wear something a little bit classy when I come in here. I'm just pulling out the clone gear today, man. It, That's it, all I'm wearing. It, it's really fun to have a have a, a, a local boy who's done well uh, through his high school career and through his college career, and and obviously a. a, a a great professional mm -hmm. and, and to come home and and uh, and do do some things that I think will be exciting. Well, and you know we've sat here all basketball season long and, and kind of done the you know let's let's stay with the team, don't get too upset type deal. Right, absolutely. We and have. There is really, I mean, Fred Hoiberg's really about the only guy I can think of, other than Gary Thompson himself, who could come in and coach this team next year, and everybody's going to be together and right, united. Right, right. There isn't going to be a debate over. Well, you know, I think this guy should have been hired. This guy should have been hired. Maybe you thought that a couple of days ago, but at the end of the day, when Fred Hoiberg walks into Hilton Coliseum next November and he is coaching the Iowa State Cyclones, how do you not get excited? Well, it's going to be tremendously excited. And, and off camera a little bit this morning, we talked about, you know, Fred brings in a, a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and excitement, not not maybe even greater than maybe Paul Rhodes brought in, and look at the excitement he brought to, to Cyclone football. Mm -hmm. But I, I think he brings that home flavor, hometown flavor. The bottom line is he's still got to win and put together a program that, that the, 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 the fans will be excited about. But I think we talked about it also that he's there'll be more patience with all, all of us clone fans out there to let Fred bring the right players, bring the right enthusiasm, and we know that the cupboard's a little bare right now. But I think he can fill it up quicker than anybody else they'd hire. And it's a lot better than what it could have been. Not no players are transferring right. after the hire. Um, Iowa State is keeping all of their recruits, which is huge because yes. they do have a decent little recruiting class coming in. They have some guys who will come in and give. Uh, Coach Hoiberg and Coach Otzelberger and Coach Gray are some right. immediate playing right. time next year. They're not going to win the Big 12 next year, but what they will be able to do is be competitive. Right. It, it It's not going to be a deal where you just write off 16 games in the Big 12. They're going to show up and be able to at least play with teams. And, and I think what he wants to establish, first of all, and I know he will, is is that what we, we know of as Hilt. Hilton Magic, and mm -hmm. he'll bring that right away. I mean, the crowds will be in it, and it'll be a little harder place for those in the Big 12 to come in and say, hey, this is just a, as we read about in the paper the other day, just a place to come in and get another win, mm -hmm. another notch in the belt. I, I don't think that's going to be that way this year, and as we go through the future, it's going to be tougher. Did you see Jim Hallahan on the yeah. news last night? He, he predicted or guaranteed one of the two that Hilton will be sold out for Fred's first game. Well, I, I think that's probably true. I hope so. And I, the fans I, out there need to... You need to help Coach Allahan out and uh, make that happen because that'd be pretty cool. Tim, Kentucky Derby coming up wow, on wow. Saturday. Can you believe it? You know, with the local flavor of a uh, patio, uh, I, I think that patio Prada. It's going to be an extremely big day on the television yep. too. We we at the Mr. B's had a fantastic week selling a lot Great. of the, a lot of these folks going to the Derby. You know, I, I wish we had a thing like that every every week where we, <laughs> we had to dress up. It was exciting for us to be involved with that. But uh, we wish all those uh, people with the Donegal Group uh, a, a huge amount of success. Uh, coming out of the ten shoot, I read this morning, mm -hmm. seems like a pretty good draw. Most winners ever. Yeah, have come out of the tension. Yeah, that, and I thought, wow, well, hey, maybe there's some good things to come out of it. And as I talked to a couple of the owners of of, of the horse, uh, you know, when 20 horses take off, anything can happen. So it's madness. It, it is. It's madness. And what a what a Super Bowl of horse racing. It's just. It's really kind of exciting, even for those of us who don't know much about the sport. Yeah. But it is exciting, and I wish them well. Well, if you even if you're not going to the Derby, I'm going to go out to Prairie Meadows on Saturday to watch the big race. Um, stop in here to Mr. B's, get yourself decked out, because you got to look good on Derby Saturday. You, know, you have he, to look good. We've been talking about for the last two or three weeks how we're ready for the season, and we really are. And, and our store, is, as I've said over and over, we look fresh and ready for your seasonal buy. And come in and talk to us about uh, about uh, the Fred Hoiberg, the mayor coming back to, to uh, Ames, Iowa, and, and 
share your thoughts. Uh, you know, we feel very positive about the hire. It makes the state of Iowa look pretty good. And, and you, you clone fans, I mean, you got to be excited this morning. It just, it's really terrific. I'm still pinching myself. It's, it's just Tell terrific. Me that it's real. And he's, he's a terrific quality guy. And, and that's, that's, and I, nothing to say bad about Coach Mack. I thought he would. Coach McDermott was a quality man also, yep. and, and I wish him well in his, uh, his efforts in, in the Missouri Valley again. I personally think that's a great fit for him and that's where he belongs and I think Fred belongs in the Big 12. I hope you're right. I think you're right too. I think Max going to have a lot of success yeah, over in Omaha. I do too. Tim, thanks a lot. It was fun today. Al always fun and it's always fun to be upbeat and we got a lot to talk about in the future with uh, two wonderful local uh, celebrities and Coach Rhodes and, 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 and uh, Coach Hoiberg and, and we're, we're going to look forward to the conversations. Things are very well right now up in Ames, Iowa. Thanks a lot to Tim Sitzman here, Mr. B's 1995 Northwest 86th Street in beautiful Clive, Iowa. For CycloneFanatic.com, I'm Chris Williams.